the National Junior College Athletic Association, Region 15, and Queensboro promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Negative comments, profanity, racist, sexist, or other abusive comments or actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or a team representative will not be tolerated in our ground and removal from the facility. Queensboro thanks you for your support and your cooperation. And now the starting lineup for the National Community College of Lions. Number three, Josh Rosa. Number 11, Malcolm Moore. Number 10, Darren Dove. Number 32, Tim Johnson. And number 20, Quinton Tate. The assistant coach for the Lions is Bill Keith, George Moore, and Patrick Floyd. The head coach is A.J. Winder. And now the starting lineup for your very own Queensboro Community College Tigers. From Quebec High School, number two, Vincent Georgie. From Providence High School, number 11, Jason Lawrence. From Harry Truman High School, number 25, Derek Miner. From Elma Memorial High School, number one, Alan Smith. From Long Beach High School, number three, Tequan Washington. The assistant coach for the Tigers, Jamal Steele, Dick Cordwood, and Ron Patterson. The head coach is Larry Dancer. Queensboro Tigers about to take on the Nassau Lions. Before we begin, I should point out that the usual head coach, Larry Dantzler, is out tonight with the stomach flu. Gamal Steele will handle the head coaching responsibilities. The starting five for the Tigers, Alan Smith, Vincent Georges, Taquan Washington, Jason Lawrence, and Davin Miner. On November 15th, Nassau won 96-61. Queensboro looks to exact some revenge. The leader of that game for the Lions was Quentin Tate, who had 14 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 steals. Nassau is coached by A.J. Winder, a former Boston Celtic, who played with Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish, three of the all-time greats. Now you see the Queensboro huddle. Gamal Steele with the head coaching duties. Marvin Patterson is back as the assistant. Starting five for the Lions, Joshua Rosa, Darren Dove, Malcolm Moore, Quentin Tate, and Timothy Johnson. Queensboro wearing the white. For scoring, look to Malcolm Moore, who's averaging 15 points a game. Quentin Tate averages 14.1, also nine and a half rebounds per game. Darren Dove also was in double figures, 10.1 points per game. Davin Miner will jump at half court. He'll do so against Quentin Tate. Tate, one of the shorter guys that you'll see jumping. Nassau wins the tip. And a steal. Alan Smith. Jason Lawrence there with the putback. Counted and the foul. Good start for the Tigers. Gamal Steele, now the head coach. Talking to Alan Smith. Lawrence misses the free throw. Lions are there. Joshua Rosa brings it up, guarded by Alan Smith. I think Malcolm Moore got away with the push off. Joshua Rosa hits a three-pointer. 3-2, Three Nassau. Smith gets it to Washington. Washington guarded by Malcolm Moore. Washington to Smith. Nice bounce pass to Vincent Georges. And Georges finishes. QCC leads 4-3. Nassau looking to take back the lead, one minute in. Good defense by Georges, help comes from Lawrence. Kick out to Moore, who misses a three, rebounded by Miner. Miner to Georges, who brings it up. 
Allen Smith. Georges. Washington guarded by Rosa. Lawrence. Good ball movement. Smith, 15 on the shot clock. Lawrence guarded by Tate. Down to nine. Smith, nice bounce pass to Miner. Mid-range jumper rebounded by Rosa. Nice pass to Malcolm Moore. Moore behind the back pass. Tigers come up with it. Miner to Smith. Smith up ahead to Washington. And Washington got it to Lawrence, but very nice transition defense by Malcolm Moore to knock it out of bounds. Smith will inbound. Lawrence. Lawrence misses. It's rebounded by Darren Dove. Joshua Rosa with it. Rosa shot way off, rebounded by Lawrence. Washington to Smith. Nice pass to Miner. Miner can't finish. It's rebounded by Timothy Johnson. Darren Dove for the lead. Miner rebounds it. Vincent Georges. Nice defense from behind. Car Carlos Solano. Last touched it. As Marvin Patterson is pointing out that they want him when they're running the fast break, they want it in the middle of the court. Alan Smith inbounding. Lawrence to Washington. Estefan Medard is in the game. It's a three from Washington, it's good. Take one Washington from downtown and it's 7-3 Tigers. Johnson and a foul is called. Good call. It's on Davin Miner, his first, team's first. Two shot foul. Timothy Johnson looking for his first points. Johnson misses the first. Johnson splits the free throws at 7-4. Coaches want Tigers to push it. Nassau comes up with it. Dove, guarded by Washington. Washington all over him. Tipped, Washington with it. Allen Smith. That was last touch by Medard. It will go to Nassau. Gamal Steele calling over Jason Lawrence. It's always great to have competent assistant coaches. You see some college and pro teams with 20 assistants and you don't even know what they do. Nice layup by Quentin Tate, his first points of the game. Medard. Stolen by the Lions. Looking to take back the lead and Dove lays it in. 8-7 Nassau. Good press defense by Nassau. They'll stay with the Tigers. Superb defense right now. Medard. Smith to Lawrence, it's on the ground. Good job by Johnson to make sure it wasn't a tie up. Now Solano lays it in. Carlos Solano with his first points of the game and Nassau leads 10-7. Four minutes in. I have a feeling Gamal Steele may call timeout soon. Another steal. Dove, off glass, tipped. Smith with it. 
Nice deflection. It's Quentin Tate there. And Gamal Steele calls for time. It's a full timeout taken by Gamal Steele. Four minutes, 20 seconds in. Tigers trail 10-7. Five different lines have scored. Three different Tigers have scored. Seven consecutive points for Nassau. Press defense has changed the game. If I was Nassau, I would keep pressing until the Tigers prove that they can stop it. Until the Tigers prove that they can make them pay for pressing. And now Marvin Patterson with a word for his team. Smith. Use the screen, Alex. Smith decided not to use minor screen. Use Washington, kick out to Medard. Ojugbele with the rebound. Hands it off to Medard, and Medard lays it in. Stefan Medard makes it 10-9. Nassau leading. May have gotten away with some steps there. I think they got away with a few travels there. That's going to be the second foul on Davin Minor. Joshua Rose is at the line. Misses the first free throw as Ryan Rahim goes in. Devin Miner will go out with the two fouls. As the ref explains the non-traveling calls to Marvin Patterson. Rosa. Splits the free throws, it's 11-9. Ojugbele, back to Medard. Smith, see if they slow it down in the half court. Washington. Good offensive rhythm, five minutes in, it's 11-9. Medard stepped out, Nassau ball. Lions lead the Tigers 11-9. Rosa being guarded by Allen Smith, bad pass. Dove was cutting in closer to the pass. Rosa threw it over his head. Smith to Washington. Raheem. Washington with it now. Medard to Ojugbele, looking for his first points. Medard to Washington. Washington, step back jumper, air ball, tipped. Nassau. Johnson, nice pass to Tate. Quentin Tate. And a charge is called on Tate. <laughs> Washington to Ojugbele. Pass intended for Raheem is stolen. Rosa. Good ball movement. Johnson in the lane. Throws one up. It's rebounded by Medard. Washington to Medard for the tie. It's good. Stefan Medard now with four points. It's 11 11. 13 43 to go in the first. 
Dove guarded by Washington. Raheem got a hand on the pass and traveling is called. Malcolm Moore is in for Nassau. Darren Dove is out. Smith will bring it up. Washington. Medard. Smith with it now. Under 20 on the shot clock. Medard for the lead. Malcolm Moore with it. Johnson. Rosa hits. Joshua Rosen now has six points and the Lions have a 13-11 lead. Smith with it. Medard. Raheem. Smith to Washington. Back to Smith. 12 on the shot clock. Washington for the lead. That rebounded by Tate. Tate pushes it. Solano. Solano makes his move on Smith and is fouled. That foul is on Ryan Raheem, his first. Carlos Solano with the line for two shots, makes the first. 14-11, Nassau. Alan Smith is out and Ojugbali is out. And Stefan Medard is out. The five out there for Queensboro, Washington, Georges, Lawrence, Birch, and Raheem. It's now 15-11, Lions. Vincent Georges will inbound. Birch to Georges. Washington to Birch. Lawrence. Georges hits. It's a two-pointer for Vincent Georges. 15-13, Nassau leads. Rosa penetrates and kicks out. Georges rebounds. Birch crosses half court. Washington with it. Georges, it's stolen. Get back, get back. Rosa up ahead to Morton Chambers and the pass is stolen. Tigers can tie or take the lead. Washington to Georges. Georges had to go through his hands. Ahead of the pack, Solano and Solano lays it in. It's now 17-13, Nassau. Georges to Washington. Raheem, Ryan Raheem with his first points of the game and it's 17-15. Rosa, Moore, tipped. Moore with it again. Gets it to Morton Chambers. Chambers, spin move. Nice moves by Morton Chambers. It's now 19-15. 11 minutes to go in the first half. Raheem got behind the defense. Raheem with his own rebound and the shot is sent away by Chambers. Nassau pushing it, Quentin Tate. Tate inside, lays it in. Quentin Tate now with four points and it's 21-15, Nassau. Tigers will slow down the pace. Washington walks it up across half court. Washington, Vincent Georges. Raheem to Birch. Birch had it stripped right to Raheem. Georges there with the rebound. Tipped, it'll stay with QCC. 
shot clock reset, so we'll have 32 as Washington comes out. And George just comes out and Raheem will come out. Birch inbounding. Alan Smith with it. Lawrence. Smith. Lawrence. Medard makes a move inside. Nice move by Stefan Medard. It's now 21 17 Nassau. Halfway through the first. Darren Dove with it. Three pointer for Malcolm Moore. Rebounded by Jason Lawrence. Alan Smith. Crosses half court. Medard. Nice steal by Moore. And Moore blows the layup. Now the Tigers are pushing it. Medard. Pull up jumper. Stopped and popped and missed. But Medard with it. Birch. Good look. It's good. Henry Birch makes it 21 19. And AJ Winder calls for time. That's a four point swing right there between the miss layup at one end and the jumper at the other. Henry Birch did a nice job of getting in closer for a better shot. This game big for Queensboro. They're seventh in the region. The top eight teams make the regional playoffs. Nassau is fourth in the region. Very good half of basketball. It's 21-19 right now. Nassau in front. Joshua Rosa with six points and Carlos Solano with six points. To lead Nassau, Stefan Medard six points leads QCC. Last time these teams met, Stefan Medard led the team with 19 points. Nassau leading by two with the ball. Dove guarded by Birch. McCaskill with it. To Dove. Long rebound. Out of bounds. Nassau will get it back. Darren Dove, again handling the ball. Moore guarded by Smith. That's a three pointer. Dove, charge is called. Queensboro bench likes that. That's the first foul on Darren Dove, third team foul. Queensboro also has three team fouls. Smith. Lawrence to Birch. Jason Lawrence, turnaround jumper. It's good. Jason Lawrence ties the game at 21 with 8-10 remaining in the first half. Dove. Cassius. Friendly roll, his first points of the game. Nassau leads 23-21. Medard. Tigers can tire take the lead. 7.45 remaining in the first. 
Lawrence. Back out to Smith. Lawrence. Lawrence ties the game. Again, it's 23-23. Seven and a half to go in the first. Defense chance starts up from the Tiger bench. Cassius. That one rims out. Rebounded by Tyler Jenkins. And a bad pass by Jenkins, to say the least. McCaskill gives Nassau the lead. Now eight different lines have scored. Nassau leading 25-23. Under seven minutes to play in the first. Medard. Jenkins down low. Nassau with it, McCaskill. Throws it away. Timothy Johnson is in for Nassau. And McCaskill will head to the bench. Smith. Medard to Smith. Lawrence, nice pass to Jenkins, down low, he couldn't finish. Jenkins gets it back, can't finish again. Jenkins to Lawrence. He misses, Jenkins with another rebound, and a foul is called. Tyler Jenkins doing work down low. Jenkins doing some stat padding, rebounding wise. Missed about three shots from within five feet. Wait, Jason, wait, Good interior defense. <laughs> Jenkins, his first point of the game. It's 25-24 Nassau. Jenkins trying to tie the game and does. 25-25. Pressure from Queensboro. Dove with it. Moore. The bench is into it. Nice pass to Dove. And a foul is called. Foul. Foul on Tyler Jenkins is first. Each team now with four fouls. Dove inbounding. Gets it to Timothy Johnson. Moore to Johnson for three. It's good. Timothy Johnson from downtown. 28-25 Nassau. Smith up to Birch. Jenkins with it. Back out to Smith. They'll slow it down for a moment. Smith to Birch. Pass, pass. Birch. Come on. Medard to Birch. Fakes a three. Great team defense down to five on the shot clock. Smith is called for traveling. Great defensive possession as Gamal Ciel calls Stefan Medard over to the bench. No, Kamal Steele saying that Medard has to be more aggressive. Rosa to Moore. Almost lost it. And a foul is called. Quentin Tate was asking for it in the corner. They didn't see him, but Quentin Tate was in the corner. Joshua Rosa will inbound. Johnson doubled, gets it to Moore, to Tate. That shot was way off. Tigers pushing it. Washington to Smith to Medard who lays it in. Stefan Medard now with eight points and it's 28-27. Lions over the Tigers. Nassau doesn't waste time getting back down but Moore misses a three. 
Tigers looking to push again and they have numbers. Pass was tipped. Smith, Tigers lead. Allen Smith with his first points of the game and QCC leads 29-28. Rosa. Great ball denial by Washington. Moore. Tate to Rosa. Moore. Tipped. Nassau. Counted and the foul. Thirty twenty nine Nassau. <laughs> Rebounded by Lawrence. Tigers looking to push. Lawrence. Washington. Medard. Medard misses the jumper. Dove. Nassau will keep it with 349 remaining in the half. Gamal Steele calls a 30 second timeout. Nassau leading 30 29 with 349 to go in the first. Queensboro 5 and 14 right now. Nassau is 13 and 8. As I said before, fourth in the region for Nassau, seventh for Queensboro. Moore will inbound. Moore hits a three. Malcolm Moore, his first points of the game. 33-29, Nassau. Washington calls out the play. Medard coming off some screens. Nassau got away with the foul there. Dove almost collided with Washington. Johnson from downtown, it's good. Timothy Johnson makes it 36-29. Queensboro with it. Smith to Lawrence. To Washington to Stefan Medard. Medard foul called on Timothy Johnson. 31, 31. Medard will inbound. Come on, see the ball though. See the ball though, come on. Smith gets it back to Medard. Washington. Medard to Lawrence. Rebounded by Rosa. Moore. There was some contact, but there wasn't a foul called on Moore or Smith. Tiger ball. Moore stepped out of bounds. Down by seven. Medard. Nice shot by Stefan Medard, who now has 10 points, and it's 36 31 Nassau. Very even first half. Want to make sure Nassau doesn't go on a little run and go into halftime with the 10 point lead when it's been so even. Allen Smith to Medard. Kamal Green gets it to Washington. Medard, bounce pass to Green, to Washington. Washington for three. 
Smith with the rebound. And he stepped out of bounds. It'll go to Nassau with 2.04 remaining in the first. Rosa. Moore. Dove. Tipped. Out of bounds. Nassau will keep it. Ojugbali is in for Queensboro. Kamal Green goes out. Solano with it. Rosa to Solano to Rosa. Solano to Rosa. Dove, they're just working it on the perimeter right now. Now here's Tate inside. Kick out to Rosa, spin move inside. Nice play by Joshua Rosa. 38-31 Nassau. 75 seconds to go in the first. Medard. Lawrence. Turnover, Nassau pushing it. Weighed in by Darren Dove and all of a sudden it's 40-31 with a minute to go. Washington to Smith. Washington to Smith. To Medard. Lawrence. Rebounded by Rosa. Lawrence had to go look at that one. Tate lays it in. Quentin Tate, all of a sudden it's 42-31. Queensboro can hold for the final shot if they choose. 25 seconds to go. Washington. Medard with it, down to 14. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Isolating. Down to five. And Smith stepped out. Now Nassau, Nassau has a chance for a buzzer beater. Nobody guarding the inbound. Rosa will have a good shot here. And a foul is called on Smith. With nine tenths of a second remaining in the half. A bit surprised they didn't try to guard the inbound, they just let Rosa bring it up. As Gamal Steele talks to Alan Smith. I was surprised they didn't put some pressure. Rosa was already across half court without any time coming off the clock. Misses the front end of a one and one. At halftime, Nassau leads Start of the second half, Lions leading the Tigers 42-31. Has to be a bit demoralizing for Queensboro to play even for about 15 minutes and then you look up at halftime and Nassau is up by double digits. Queensboro led 29-28. Then Nassau led 30-29 and there was a timeout called with 3.49 to go in the first. And I don't know what A.J. Winder said in that huddle but they played like a different team after that. QCC ball to begin the second half. Timothy Johnson led the way for Nassau with nine points. Queensboro looking to cut this lead to single digits. Georges to Washington. 
Pass for Smith was tipped by Moore into the bleachers. Washington. Smith. Georges. Good team defense. Down to eight on the shot clock. Lawrence goes baseline. Washington. Georges' shot is off. And then Nassau throws it away. It's got to be tough for Nassau. You play great defense, you get the rebound, and then you throw it away. Washington. Georges. Washington. To Lawrence. Washington. To Georges, it's a long two and it's good. Vincent Georges. Put back is good from Malcolm Moore. It's 44-33 Nassau. Lawrence misses. Put back is good. Put back is good by Alan Smith. It's now 44-35. Not sure if it's an ankle injury or an untied shoe. He's down there tying his shoe, but he'll come out. It's Quentin Tate. Looks like an ankle as he limped off a bit. 44-35. It's Vincent Georges, forgot whose ball it was for a moment. He was getting ready to inbound it. Morton Chambers will be the one to inbound. Joshua Rosa brings it up, guarded by Alan Smith. 80 seconds into the second half. Baseline. Going baseline, nice defense. Tiger ball, Washington. Puts up a three and it's good. Vincent George is from downtown. 44-38, Tigers trailing by six, but still a lot of time. More. Johnson, Johnson is fouled by Georges. Good call. Kamal Steele and Marvin Patterson with some words. Watch for the press. Vincent, you take the ball out. Jason, y'all go. Go middle, Jason. You go middle. Let this Johnson now in double digits. It's 45-38. That was the first foul on Vincent Georges. Georges with the rebound and Moore has it. Washington with it now. Take one Washington. Foul called against Nassau. Foul is on Morton Chambers, his first. Washington will go to the line for two. Looking for points numbers four and five. Washington hits the first, 45-39. Washington hits them both, it's 45-40. Johnson to Moore, to Rosa. Moore for three. Nassau ball. Give some advice to Jason Lawrence, who last touched it. Didn't have good position for a rebound. 
Johnson. George is with it now. And he stepped out of bounds. A, a number of wasted possessions. What? Moore couldn't hit Lawrence to Washington. Washington pushes it. Miner swings it to Georges, goes baseline. And the blocking foul is called. That one is on Morton Chambers. Washington. Smith for three. Kick ball. Now 17 minutes to play. Nassau looking to extend the lead. And Joshua Rosa lays it in. 47-40. George's good defense being played. Smith with it. Washington. To Smith, down low to Lawrence, makes his move. Tough shot by Jason Lawrence. It's 47-42. Johnson, no help defense as Johnson lays it in. Johnson now has a dozen points, it's 49-42. And Lawrence at the other end makes it 49-44. Lawrence now in double digits. Foul is called, no basket. It's down to a five point game. You don't guard him or what? It don't look like it. You know why you get a trap on the Rosa will inbound. Two, 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 two. Come on! Hey! Dove for three. It's good, Darren Dove. It's 52-44. Georges, Medard. Washington back to Medard. Medard mid-range jumper is off. Raheem there. And he misses, rebounded by Rosa. Moore ahead of the pack. And great transition defense by Medard. Almost turned it over. Take care of the basketball. Medard inbounding. Washington. Full court pressure. Medard up to Washington. Washington's jumper is tipped. Johnson pushes it. Rosa, foul is called, no basket. Foul is on Stefan Medard. Rosa hits the first free throw, 53-44. Jason, go middle, don't take the ball out. Ryan, take the ball out. Rosa hits both, it's 54-44, back up to a 10-point game. Good job by Washington. Lawrence, nice pass to Georges. And he hits, it's a two-pointer. It's now 54-46. Nassau trying to make it a double-digit game again. Johnson, 
Rosa swings it. Nice pass, but Cash just couldn't finish. Medard. Medard slows it down. Lost the dribble for a moment. Washington. Georges. And a charge is called. Didn't really have to leave his feet to make the pass. Rosa. Washington guarding him. Dove. Back to Rosa. Johnson. Rebounded by Cassius. He couldn't put it in. George is now with it. Up to Washington. Washington floater off glass. No good. Medard. He couldn't put it back. And Washington will be called for a foul. Foul is on Washington. Excuse me, Tom Rosa, not Washington. No, it is on Washington, excuse me. Rosa, nice moves by Rosa, and it's now back up to a 10-point game. Washington, 13 and a half minutes to play. Medard, it's a two-pointer. Stefan Medard now with a dozen points, it's 56-48. Rosa, Gamal Steele calls a timeout. 58-48 with 13-15 to go. Poor interior defense the last few times down. And pardon me, Gamal Steele didn't call the timeout. A.J. Winder did. Joshua Rosa with 16 points to lead. Nassau, Timothy Johnson with a dozen. Stefan Medard with a dozen for Queensboro. Vincent Georges has added 11 and Jason Lawrence has added 10. Queensboro trying to cut into the double digit lead. As Gamal Steele handling the head coaching duties gives a word to his team. Tiger ball is AJ Winder called a timeout right after Rosa hit that floater. Still enough time to make a comeback. Alan Smith will bring it up. Medard. The five on the court for the Tigers. It's Ryan Raheem. Can hit, rebounded by Dove. And a foul is called on Smith. The five Tigers on the court, Georges, Raheem, Lawrence, Smith, and Medard. Quentin Tate back in, he was inbounding. Joshua Rosa brings it up. Solano, that's a Dove three and it's good. Darren Dove from downtown. Dove now with 10 points, it's 61-48. 12.40 to go. 
Smith quarterbacking the offense right now. Dove playing good defense on him. Georges, foul was called. Twelve and a half minutes to play. Medard inbounding. Gets it to Lawrence. Smith. Ojugbali. Medard. Medard a little too strong. Johnson up ahead to Tate. Nice pass to Solano. Great block by Medard. As Joshua Rosa controls it. Smith on him, down to 20 on the shot clock. Still enough time. Rosa. Get the ball! Smith throws it to Lawrence. That'll be a jump ball. Ball to the Lions. As Johnson will inbound in front of the Tiger bench. Rosa. Guarded by Smith. Moore. To Johnson. To Rosa. Nice pass who, to find Tate underneath. But Tate couldn't put it in. Great pass by Rosa though. Allen Smith. Ojugbali. Goes baseline. Couldn't finish. Quentin Tate is pushing it. Nice pass. Tate to Moore. Moore lays it in. It's now 63-48. With 11.05 to go. Time running out now. They were down by 10 with 13, 15 to go. That's enough time. But now down by 15 with under 11 to play. Smith. Down to nine. Smith. Ball will stay with QCC. As Kamal Steele doesn't like that no call. Down to five on the shot clock. Henry Birch will inbound. See if they try to run a lob play. Smith. Didn't go in, but it'll go to the line. Smith hits the first, 63-49. Anthony Brown getting ready to go in for QCC. Smith makes them both at 63-50 with 10.35 to go. Alan Smith, who just made his free throws, will go to the bench. Anthony Brown is in. Will likely handle the point guard duties. Joshua Rosa. Henry Birch guards him on the way up the court. Solano guarded by Brown. Hounded by Brown. Tate fakes a three, makes a move inside. And is fouled. Quentin Tate is at the line. Quentin Tate hits the first, now has seven points. Nassau has a 14 point lead. Tate 
Tate splits the free throws. Burge to Brown. Medard, not a good shot. Out of bounds. 9.58 to go. So it will be Henry Birch handling the point guard duties. Georges, Ojugbali, the three is good for Ojugbali, his first points of the game. It's now 64-53. Rosa. Rosa inside. Great defense and a foul is called. A foul is called. Gamal Steele talking to Anthony Brown. As Joshua Rosa is at the line with 16 points. Rosa hits the first at 65-53. Rosa sinks them both at 66-53. Brown to Georges. And Georges pulled it out. Only Johnson was standing between him and the basket. Birch facing a 2-3. Georges, Birch, and Johnson goes on the ground for it and makes a steal. Rosa lays it in. He now has 20 points and Gamal Steele is calling for time. None of his players see him though. None of the players saw them calling for timeout. Lawrence misses and Nassau has it. Solano, Brown with it. Gamal Steele will not call timeout. They were asking for it the last time down and nobody saw him. Ojugbali, it's a two pointer for OJ. Now 68-55. Rosa guarded by Birch. Eight minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Rosa penetrates, kicks out to Moore. Moore from downtown. It's 71-55 with 8.16 to go. And A.J. Winder calls for time. It's a full timeout. QCC letting this game slip away. Excuse me, it's a 30 second timeout, not a full. Taekwon Washington will go in when play resumes. Joshua Rose has really played great tonight. 20 points. Been great as a point guard. That last one where he penetrates, the defense collapses, and then he kicks, he kicks it out to Moore, who hits a three. Now it's a 16-point game with 8.16 remaining. If Queensboro was going to make a run, it's got to start now. Lawrence to Washington. Gamal wanted him to penetrate. Wanted him to attack. He didn't. Lawrence to Washington, long two. And Georges fouls Tate with 7.57 remaining. going to be a one in one situation. <laughs> 
Quinton Tate is at the line with seven points. Misses the first, Brown to Washington. Ojugbele down low to Lawrence, and Lawrence puts it in. Jason Lawrence now with a dozen points at 71-57. 7.40 to go. See how long it is before Queensboro presses. They've been playing man. We're unable to box out. It's now 73-57. Brown to Georges. Pass was a little behind Brown and a turnover. Solano bounce pass to Rosa who lays it in. 75-57 with now under seven minutes to go. Ojugbele to Lawrence. Georges. Couldn't put it in. Had so many chances. Nassau pushing now. Nice pass. Solano is fouled and hits. And Gamal is calling for time. As this game got away from Queensboro in a hurry, Gamal calls timeout with 6.46 to go. QCC trails 77-57. It's a 30 second timeout. The game got out of control in a hurry. But I think if they press, they still have a slight chance. Remember, it was a 10-point game with 13-15 to go. All of a sudden, it's a 20-point game. This lead ballooned. Solano is at the line. Couldn't finish the conventional three-point play. Smith to Washington. Ojugbele. And a foul is called on Dove. Miner underneath. Davin Miner with his first points of the game at 77-59. Six and a half to play. Solano. And Moore pushes off on Washington. Tigers will have it back with 6.24 to go. Queensboro not dead yet. Smith. Medard. Medard, tough shot, it's good. Stefan Medard makes it 77-61. Ojugbele. And A.J. Winder calls for time with 6.05 to go. I like the play from Ojugbele to press. See if the Tigers could get back into it, down by 16 with 6.05 to go. Stefan Medard with 14 points, Jason Lawrence with 12, Vincent Georges with 11, the Tigers in double digits.
and Gamal saying you have to do on defense what just happened. Malcolm Moore was frustrated and just pushed off Washington. Tigers are ready to go right now, even though the timeout hasn't ended yet. Solano will inbound. Ojugbali guarding the inbound. Rosa. Solano. Good defense by Ojugbali. Cassius gets it to Rosa. Rosa again. 79-61. Joshua Rosa killing Queensboro. Smith to Medard. The jump ball is called. Queensboro will keep it on the alternating possession. Sub comes in, Malcolm Moore is in. Carlos Solano is out for Nassau. Medard, pass intended for Washington. No foul is called, although there was a lot of contact. No basket, charging is called. A charge. And Moore gets behind the defense and lays it in. Malcolm Moore, it's 81-61. You hope if you're Queensboro now, it's a fast pace. The more possessions, the more it favors the team trailing. If you're the Lions, you want to slow down the game. Although when you have a situation like Moore just did, you have to lay it in. You can't just take it out as a foul is called. Foul is on Cassius. Ojugbali will go to the line. Down by 20 with 4.56 to go. Ojugbali misses the first. Ojugbali splits the free throws. It's now 81-62. Johnson to Rosa. See if they try to run some clock. Moore. Ojugbali is on Moore. Cassius to Rosa. Steal. Smith on the ground for it. Ojugbali, Medard was asking for it. It hit the shot clock. Ball to Nassau with 4.28 to go. Lions in control up by 19 with under four and a half to play. Queensboro will press. See if Moore tries to get behind the defense again. Rosa gets behind the defense and Rosa lays it in. 83-62. Joshua Rosa has been the player of the game. Smith off glass, counted and the foul. 83-64. Smith thought about going to the trainer for a moment. I think Nassau is going to run some clock when they get it. Get 
Smith misses the free throw. Moore. Johnson with the rebound. What the point of that shot was, I'll never know. As Washington misses the layup. Ojugbele is fouled. Winder not impressed with the effort from his team, or one of the players in particular who didn't get the rebound. Ojugbele. First free throw is good as Rafael Yusupov goes in for Taekwon Washington. Gamal hoping Yusupov can hit a few long shots off the bench. I was wondering, you're up by 19, why, why would Moore shoot a three or a long two as that free throw is off and Nassau controls it. Why would you take a shot four seconds into the shot clock? And a turnover. It's like Nassau is trying to keep Queensboro around. 18 point game with 3.40 to go. Medard to Yusupov. Loose ball. Nassau picks it up. It's Rosa. Smith with the rebound. Yusupov to Medard to Ojugbele. And Ojugbele is fouled with 3.22 remaining. Ojugbele will go back to the line for two more. And that's foul number five on Cassius. He's done. Disqualified with his fifth foul. Quayshawn McCaskill will go in. As Cassius is going to the bench. Ojugbele makes the first. He now has eight points. It's 83-66. Misses the second, and Smith with it. Ojugbele knew he missed as soon as it left his hands. Madar to Smith. Yusupov for three. Rosa with it. Dove. Lions. Should take some time off the clock. The old four-corner offense. Stalling tactics. Used to be very popular in college basketball before the shot clock was implemented. Guys like Dean Smith and Denny Crum won titles. Dove misses a three after a sick crossover. Ball to QCC with 2.35 to go. Gamal Steele calls time. Steele wants one last push. Kamal doesn't want his team to stop playing. I wouldn't say they're down by 17, but I wouldn't say hard is the problem with the Tigers tonight. It was an issue raised by some players and coaches in previous games. Tigers are ready to play. Nassau still huddling up. I just wonder how early is it, I don't know, how early is too early to foul. It's a 17 point game with 2.35 to go. But if you hit a three and cut it to 14. And Yusupov was out of bounds. Rosa 
Brings it up. Smith all over him. Moore. Dove. Not looking to shoot. Still 13 on the shot clock. Moore guarded by Yusupov. Nice bounce pass to Johnson. Johnson is fouled. And he'll go to the line to finish a conventional three point play. It's 85 66 with 2.01 remaining. Taquan Washington will go in for QCC. Yusupov heads to the bench. That free throw is not going to count. Foul was on Henry Birch. Scores table wanted to know who the foul was on. Would have been interesting about that free throw if it was a closer game. If it's like a two point game, maybe Nassau would have asked for that free throw to count. And I believe the foul is on Davin Miner, not Henry Birch. That's the third foul on Davin Miner. Each team in the double bonus. Johnson hits the free throw, it's 86-66. It says 87-66 on the scoreboard, it's 86. And the foul is called. As Gamal Steele gives the word to Taquan Washington. Now the scoreboard says 86-66. Ojugbele at the line. Hits the first. 86-67. OJ hits them both, it's 86-68, under two minutes to play. Ah. Oh, walk it. Oh, oh, I'm not, I'm Moore, bounce pass to Rosa. Three. Joshua Rosa again. With 100 seconds to go, it's 88-68. Good offensive showing by Nassau, led by Joshua Rosen, is 28 points. 95 seconds to go. Queensboro, as Rosa has it, to Dove. Dove lays it in. Queensboro, in danger of falling out of the top eight regionally. Remember, the top eight make the playoffs as Nassau has it. Queensboro is seventh, and there are a lot of tough regional games coming up. You know, the goals at the beginning of the year stated, you want to win CUNY, you want to win the regionals, and of course you want to win nationals. As Joshua Rosa hits the 30 point mark and it's 92-68. Queensboro in good standing in CUNY, number three. As Gamal Steele calls timeout with 52 and 9, 10 seconds remaining. Wants to end on a high note the last minute. Queensboro wants to make regionals. Joshua Rosa with 30 points to lead all scorers, the player of the game. As the coaching staff gives the last word to the team, down by 24 with 52 and 9, 10 seconds remaining. The 
to five for Queensborough with the end. Anthony Brown, Brian Nation, Kamal Green, Ryan Raheem, and Davin Miner. So they'll get some playing time. Brian Nation's first action of the game. Brown, Raheem, Johnson rebounds, Moore, 94-68, puts an exclamation point on this win, and by the way, I know the scoreboard says it's a 26 point game, and it's about to say it's a 28 point game, it's 96-68, this isn't to be fair, it's not a typical 28-point game. It's not one of those where Queensboro never showed up. As Raheem misses a three. A nation airballs a shot from about two feet away. And Nassau won't shoot. It was a good game until a late push by Nassau made this a blowout. The final score, this is QCC student David Russell. Nassau wins 96-68.